you for coming back. Um, I have a fragrance haul video again uh, from Nature's Garden. Um, I have nine fragrances here. Um, they're just little guys. They're little four ounces. I am trying to hide the label because I want to be surprised on what I'm smelling. Um, but yeah, we're going to look at these and um, I have Nature's Garden app here on my phone. So we're going to go ahead and smell it, read the name, then look up the fragrance notes. Um, yeah, so we'll start with this one. Gosh, I can't even get it open. Urgh, there we go. That's, move that out to the side. It seems to be washing off the video. Ooh, this smells really good. This smells like a thousand wishes. So I did get that fragrance oil dupe from nature's garden and let's see oh my gosh that's what it is okay Let me see it a thousand dreams so yes this smells just like the um, Bath and Body Works fragrance a thousand wishes which is pretty much my all-time favorite fragrance from Bath and Body Works love it so I'm glad that this smells just like that Okay, we're gonna get go with this one next. Oh, this smells coconutty. What did I get that had coconut in it? I don't know. Oh, that smells really good. I definitely got coconut, but then I also get like it's coconut shea. Let's turn the autofocus off here. Okay. Coconut Shea. So this, yeah, smells really good. Um, it smells like coconut. I smell, it, to me, it, it smells tropical. It definitely smells like a tropical fragrance. Um, and I feel thought I could smell a little bit of fruit in it. Um, let's look this one up. Coconut Shea. Okay. Coconut Shea. It says coconut shavings, juicy lemon, orange zest, shea butter, rose, marine accord, driftwood, tonka bean, and exotic musk. Um, so yes, I definitely smell the coconut. I'm not sure what shea butter really smells like. I know what natural shea butter smells like, and it, it's okay. But yeah, I do, now that I'm reading it, I do kind of smell a little bit of a musky and a rose, and I definitely do pick those fruity scents up in here. This smells good. Um, I also have tried to pick fragrances that are low on the vanillin content, um, so 2% and under, and this is 1.5%. So this will discolor to a slight, um, like a creamy tan color. Next one is whatever this one is. I don't know what it is yet. Um, I'm going to smell it first. Oh, it's a... Uh, I, think, I think this one is called Celestial. Just because I remember reading the notes. It's, it's a masculine scent. Definitely smells... Yep, that's the one it is. It's Celestial. So this one is definitely a, like a men's cologne, which the name and the image, this rainbow, kind of throws you off on. 
Um, but yeah, this one does smell good. Celestial. I don't know how to really describe a men's fragrance, just besides it smells like a men's cologne. So this says pineapple, which I don't, I do not smell pineapple in this. Um, orange and eucalyptus. I do smell the eucalyptus. Um, it says jasmine, lily, violet, sage, and thyme. I do smell the sage and thyme. Um, I don't really pick up any of the floral notes there. Let's smell it again. Um, lily, violet. No, I don't really. I, so then the base notes are patchouli, sandalwood, cedar, oak moss, musk, and vet, vetiver, which I do, I smell the patchouli and the sandalwood and the cedar. I basically smell all the base notes. I do not really smell the floral notes. It is a little bit sweet, so maybe that's where those sweet notes are coming from. Oh, Penny, sorry. Hold on. My cat is being bad. Crisis averted cat is safe. Um, okay, so the next one, we'll just go ahead and choose this one. Oh, I, I don't really like this one. This one is musky. Mm, I don't know, maybe I do kind of like it. Smells like something I've smelled before. Let's look at the name. Sea salt and orchid. Hmm. Gosh, I was hoping that I'd really like this one. Um, I'll have to probably soak with it because there are some fragrances that I have soaked with that I um, have not liked out of the bottle, but then in the in the soap, they smell really, really good. Um, let's put this one up. It smells like a very clean scent. Okay, so this smells like a very clean scent. Um, I'm not much of like ozone water scents. I don't particularly like those. They always kind of give me a note of like a wet dog smell, which this does kind of give me that vibe a little bit. Um, so I'm thinking that's what this is that I don't like in it, the sea salt part, but it does have like a nice after scent um, where I can smell that um, uh, that floral note in it. So the notes here are Pink grapefruit, saltwater mist, and citron zest. Then beech lily, lotus blossom, seagrass. Then bleached driftwood, amber sand, and magnolia blossom. So there are quite a few notes in there that are of the water variety, which I'm thinking that's why I don't like this very much. Um, I am still going to give it a chance, though. Um, just see how it turns out in the soap, and who knows, a family member might like it. Um, and I've heard actually really good reviews on this scent, so that's why I wanted to pick it up. Okay, so we'll just grab this one because it's just right here next. Ooh, this smells good. This smells like a melon, like, oh, this might be cucumber melon. Oh, melon and cucumber. Yep. So again, another, um, dupe, I guess. So this is, um, another dupe of the cucumber melon, um, fragrance 
from Bath & Body Works. I'm not really going to look the fragrance notes up on this one. This one is pretty self-explanatory, and it does smell just like the fragrance from Bath & Body Works. Um, so I'm guessing most people know what that smells like, and it does. It smells just like it. Okay, we've got four more. This one. Ooh, this one smells interesting. I like it so far. Get in there. Wow, I don't know what this is. I smell. It smelled like berries or grape. Oh, star fruit and mango. Um, okay, that's not what I was expecting. So this doesn't have the traditional fragrance notes like with the top, middle, and base notes like some other stuff from Nature's Garden. Um, this one just says that this is a refreshing blend of fresh star fruit and mangoes rounded out with strawberry and peach. Um, I actually have to say yes, I smelled the strawberry in it. I smell, I actually smell the mango. <laughs> I smell the mango, I smell the strawberry, um, the star fruit, I do, I don't really get a lot of peach, um, but what's kind of interesting too, I don't want people to take this maybe the wrong way a little bit, um, like when everything's mixed like in my nose when I'm smelling it, it smells a little like bubble gum, like it has a, a bubble gum scent to it a little bit. Um, it is good. I like it a lot. Um, honestly, fruity fragrances are my favorite out of everything. Um, I got this because one of my favorite fragrance oils from Wholesale Supplies Plus, Crafter's Choice, is the Starfruit Mango scent. Um, this does not smell like that, unfortunately. Um, so I am going to have to go repurchase this from um, Wholesale Supplies Plus, which is a bummer because they're really, really expensive. Um, but I do like this, um, and I will use it, definitely. But yeah. Okay, we'll go with this one. I keep seeing the picture on this, but I don't know what it is. So let's go ahead and smell it. Ooh, this one smells good. It smells musky. I smell a musk in it. Um, I smell a floral. Oh, wow. That smells really good. It smells... I don't know. Ooh. Euphoric Majesty. Huh. I don't remember buying this one. I have no idea what this one smells like or it's supposed to smell like. But wow, it smells really good. It smells definitely like a perfume. Um, so it says that this um, speaks to women who embrace sensuality and fantasy, a provocative blend of pomegranate, persimmon, green note, black or orchid, lotus blossom, liquid amber, mahogany woods, black violet, and a cream accord. That smells, that sounds like it smells amazing. It does smell amazing. I really, really like this a lot. Um, this is probably my favorite so far. So it has top notes of peach, pear, lemon, plum, green notes, pomegranate, persimmon, middle notes of rose, honeysuckle, um, mugit, uh, I don't know what that is, 
um, black orchid, black violet, lotus blossom, and then base notes of cashmere woods, patchouli, musk, vanilla, and amber. Yes, I will probably be repurchasing this one. I really like this a lot. Um, the vanillin content is 0.6%, so you will not have a lot of discoloration from this one. Um, yeah, I would recommend this one. This one's my favorite so far, besides um, A Thousand Dreams. Yes, so we may make something with that very soon. Okay, we'll go with this one. Gosh, this is bugging me how these little thingies are just popping off. All right. Oh, this smells coconutty. This smells fruity. It smells plasticky, though, too. I don't know if I'm just getting the... Fountain of Youth. Huh. I do remember picking this one out. I've wanted to try this one for a while. Okay, so it says that this is a luxury spa fragrance. It says a caring blend of sparkling freshness. It starts with fresh note air notes and a hint of Japanese grapefruit. Middle notes of melons, rose, lotus, and lily of the valley. And then ends with base notes of bamboo and white musk. Let's smell this again. Yeah. I smell I smell the fruit in it. And I smell something else mysterious. I don't smell it's not super musky, which I know it said it has musk and um, patchouli in it. I'm not smelling that, but I am, I am getting the florals and I am getting the fruit in it and it does smell good. Um, I'm thinking it smells kind of plasticky just because it's, you know, a concentrated fragrance in the bottle. It will round out nicely um, once it's in soap. So yeah, this one smells good so far. Okay, this is the last one. I have no idea what this is. I don't remember what I bought. Ooh, this smells good too. It's florally, definitely florally. It smells actually a little bit like that Thousand Wishes. Lunar Eclipse, huh, okay, okay, Lunar Eclipse, now I thought this one was going to be a little bit more musky on the men's um, type of cologne side of things, um, now that I'm looking at the, I think I just went by the name and thought that, but now that I'm reading the fragrance notes, it says that it is a fragrance filled with fruits of neck, fruits of nectar and exotic florals blended with sweet vanilla, honey, and filled with romance. Okay. So top notes of lemon, orange, bergamot, and raspberry mid notes of carnation, tuberose, orchid, hydrangea, and calla lily, then base notes of vanilla, oak moss, and tonka bean. So I, I do like this. Um, like I said, this does kind of give me the vibes of a thousand wishes type of fragrance from Bath and Body Works, just like the first one we scented or smelled. Uh, this does, I know it mentioned vanilla in the fragrance description, but there's actually no vanilla in this. So this will not discolor. But yeah, um, I will definitely give this a try. I say it's more of along the lines, hmm, could it be, you might be able to get away with it on being a unisex fragrance, but it does smell more like a women's fragrance, um, or it could be like along the lines of like a clean scent, 
Um, but yeah, that um, is, yeah, that's, these are the fragrances that we have today, and thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, go ahead um, and link them below, and if you like what you see here, please um, hit that subscribe button, um, that really does support my channel, and thank you so much for watching, I'll see you later.